Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Incoherent Ramblings. I'm your host, Joey Schell. Hi, I'm Paul Huttinger. Kale Anderson. Daryl George. Ralph Needlelander. <laughs> and today, today we are bringing you one of our favorite topics, which is random rambling. Oh, yeah. This will be random ramblings from a oh, Del Taco okay. Fiesta pack. That's our sponsor. Oh, that's, that's noisy for today. Uh, sorry. Oh, oh that's <laughs> hey, 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 stop. stop it. <laughs> Do Ralph. Uh, uh, here, here's where the light thing went. So, uh, we'll be doing uh, random ramblings. I'll bring you the rules in just a second. Remember, you can always, always contact us, show at imrambling.com. Do you notice I did the color card before we started recording, but I did not do the sync clap. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. Job. Thanks for Brilliant. giving us the clap. You're so, welcome. let's talk about random ramblings we haven't done for a while. This is our first <laughs> video edition of random ramblings. And the first one with Joe involved. I mean, Ralph. Yay! Ralphie boy. So, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what else is there? Really Excuse me. <laughs> it might be pre ramble time. Oh, no, no, no. Right? We have to, right. for people who don't know, random rambling. Random oh, rambling okay. is we have each submitted four, five, six different topics to talk about. They are inside this very box, this very Fiesta pack. Yeah, the one I'm eating right now. <laughs> and what we will do is I will draw one out and we will have three minutes to discuss it, and then the timer goes off and we have to move on. Unless. We have an extend, which each of us have, or if we really don't like the topic, we can use a skip. Skip. Skips can also be canceled out by an extend. And we skip. did a mixture of some serious topics and some silly Correct. Topics. There's a little bit of each. Yeah. All right. So we ready to go for free ramble, and then we'll go right on to so. incoherent random ramblings. Okay, ramblings. ready? It's time for the free ramble. Sorry, I dropped your dick pillow. <laughs> <laughs> so let's start off with mine, which is Vert the Furk. My Vert the Furk this week is a very interesting one because I read in an article last week that Lucasfilm's division of Disney has decided. <laughs> Why are you caressing the. Thing? I don't know, but it's, it's like disturbing. Product, it's, it's product placement. It's, it's, all right. Down here in the corner. Oh. <laughs> Lucasfilm. <laughs> Walt Disney has. In their infinite wisdom, decided. Well, as you guys probably know, Star Wars, outside of the movies, has a very has a huge expanded universe, which includes after the movies where Han and Leia have twins. One of them goes to the dark side. Luke gets married to uh, what's her name? Uh, Mara Jade. Paul Mara Jade. Abdul. <laughs> or Paul Abdul. <laughs> maybe the first marriage. And so there's all this stuff. Disney, That's the opposites attract. Disney. Yeah, there you go. Disney has said that, it. that only the movies and the Clone Wars are now Star Wars canon. What? Nothing else. I, I agree. Nothing Ooh. else goes. Really? That all exists, but it's now called Star Wars Legends. So the movies can go in any direction. So my Vert Furk is Vert Furk Disney, but is it a bad thing, Vert Furk? Now, Paul, I would have thought you were against it, but he seems to be all on board for it. No, that, what do you e think? the EU is just to me just went crazy. Too chaotic. I read the Karen Travis novels. Uh, the European Union. It's like twenty six. <laughs> talking about? Universe. It's like oh, it's like, okay. <laughs> it's about twenty six Jedi books, and like they're talking about going to a coffee shop and getting can. It's just too much, and it's well, like to try to to try to put that all together into one universe to fit in it, it not even like choosing some of them like air to the Imp well well the thing is the movie they're still drawing some from the eu it's not oh. like it's it's like totally uh -huh. dead they'll never touch it right. it's just not this is what happened well it's like any adaptation there's the movie version versus the book version etc yeah so how and that's it what it's like yeah. marvel there's a marvel cinematic right. universe right. and a marvel comic so universe. Yeah, we're gonna do an episode on canon someday I oh hope. that's right that, yeah, that'll probably. be mine mm -hmm. maybe Word of the week. I want to make a vine of you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today's word of the week was very random because I just turned on Urban Dictionary and just hit random. Oh shoot! <laughs> so I got this is the this is lucky episode. The word this week is a Tommy. A Tommy. A Tommy. Wait, Tommy. like a Tommy. It's a, a to Tommy. Like a gun. No, T O M M Y. Okay, it's not a Tommy like a Tommy. No, no, no. It's a Tommy. But I am giving it a as a. 
It's hey, Ralph. A Tommy, not a okay. name. It's what, Tommy. We should, what we should Tommy do is says no. If, oh, Tommy. <laughs> okay. Tommy. Okay. What we should, on. What we should do is if if we have no <laughs> suggestions at the beginning, we should ask Paul to categorize it. Is it oh. in the categorization of sex, poop, or other? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way two? to whittle it down. <laughs> yeah, pick two. Uh, oh. Yes. Okay. Pick yeah. any two. This is like it is categorized in sex. All right. This is like the the engineering quandary. You can choose uh, quality, speed, it, or it or is big. Okay. Choose so any two. If I say, let me ask you. This this is more fun with right. like If I say, give me a Tommy, is that something I would ask someone like you or yeah. anyone? <laughs> you could ask me, but I may not be able to assist you with it. <laughs> All right. Time warning. We should probably cut to chase. Okay. Uh, Tommy, it's a sexual position in which a girl gets down and whispers into the male's ear about how good he is at Call of Duty while she gives him a hand job in which ranch is used as a lube of choice. To fully complete the position, a picture of the male's father must be present and... <laughs> And pointing awkwardly, damn, my phone went off. Dad, is that you? Awkwardly at the couple. Dad, Dad, what? Why the wall? Oh, oh, it's a uh, picture. It's <laughs> All right. Oh, I thought you were gonna say whisper into his dick, but that's no. That, that All right, that is bizarre. Yeah, let's yes. Let's right, demonstrate with the pillow. <laughs> What's okay. that? It's it's. Yeah, no, 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 we're done. Where's the ranch? Where's the ranch? Where's the ranch? <laughs> no ranch. That looks really bad, and it's pointed at me. <laughs> the, the oh, good thing you didn't. Good thing it wasn't ready. Yeah. All right. It smells like science. Go. It smells like science. They uh, they have invented a new way to get solar energy out of the sun, and way they else did you get, get it? To get it from? <laughs> well, there's lots of other places the solar energy comes into, and then oh, yeah, comes okay. back directly out. from the sun. Right. 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 Oh, got it. Directly from the sun. What they've made is they've made this carbon nanotube top, which they have uh, moved. Demonstrate, they, Paul. <laughs> which they have made into a <laughs> into a big penis. And then the, on the top, <laughs> you slapped the mic with your pillow penis. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, a pillow. God. It's a penis. Okay, okay, okay. On the top, on the top, I'm okay. listening. Okay. MIT is it's a good made thing. These. Random Ramblings doesn't have rails to begin with. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> no, uh, what is this? That MIT has made graphite flakes, which absorb sunlight, and you put water underneath with a uh, another set of graphite, but it isn't flakes which causes water to be sucked up into it. The flakes heat it, and it causes steam to rise, which you can then turn a turbine and create electricity. And the thing is, you could spread this out on the ocean for miles, and it would keep generating electricity as long as you had it. Okay, everybody at home, go ahead and rewind that part and think of it all in a sexual term. <laughs> what I'd really like to see is that they use filings from a pencil sharpener to, yeah. to do that. Right. That would work. What is it right Not. now? Oh, it's <laughs> TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, TikTok. I hate that. <laughs> hey, don't eat the finger. Oh, you, you baby. <laughs> All right. So for Tech Talk today, I'm going to talk about something that's been around for a little while, okay. but they just came out with a new model. Oh. Um, there's a type of camera called a Lytro, and they just came out with a new um, model called the Illum. I L L U M, and Lytro is spelled L Y T R O. And um, this is an interesting stage in technology because it seems like largely because portable devices um, keep getting more powerful uh, sensors on them for camera uh, picture taking. Mm -hmm. It seems like the next step is that we're, we're kind of getting close to perfecting optics and getting a lot of megapixels in a small space and stuff like that. So yeah. where to go next after that is oh. kind of topped off is to go into processing. And that's what um, Lytro has specialized in, is they basically do a focusless depth sensing camera. This camera is unfortunately kind of expensive. It has a high-end lens that looks kind of well, like they're a really always small expensive to begin with. SLR, right. Um, it, it's about $1,500. Um, but the interesting thing is that, you know, a lot of cameras in the high-end, you uh, light press the um, photo button to focus, and then you press all the way to snap a picture. This doesn't have that. It's just, just basically you frame your shot and you snap it. And then in post, when you actually have the Snap it real good! Right. <laughs> when, you, when you have the picture on the computer, you can actually set where you want the depth of field to be. So I could hmm. have a picture of, like, you know, a, 
a rose in a vase and then something in the background, take a picture of that, and then in post I can decide if I want the rose to be in focus or the background in focus or everything. Oh, you mean afterwards? Mm. Cool. Yeah, that's okay, called that's post. Cool. Yep. Oh, oh, like, like post production and post play, play. Yeah. after play. What was that from last? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Heck of it all, but it's interesting. Okay, our yeah. first incoherent ramblings brought to you from Paul. What would happen if Superman's pod had landed in the <laughs> Middle East? Wow. Pretty uh, deep, huh? Okay. Well, it would have resembled the opening of Iron Man a lot more. Like, would, he have, <laughs> would he have the S deal, or would it be like the 7 Eleven logo? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey. <laughs> or maybe some squiggly thing. We had incoherent rambling. There's a lot of desert in the Middle East, so yeah. he might have died. Well, no, because then he wouldn't have died. He just would have wandered the well, desert. Well, maybe those, there would not be a Middle East. Wait, his power comes from there the sun, There would be no right? people there anymore. Oh, yeah. he'd be super just powerful. one he'd be super powerful. pissed off person. <laughs> well, no, that's a good point. But first of all, would he still be white? Yes. I guess. Yeah. He yeah. might have burned some. Like, <laughs> in the <laughs> desert. I don't know. Uh, but You'd then, have a tan. You'd well, be sunburned. He would have been. He would have been. Wow. I don't know would where to be, go with would this. Would he be dodging the rockets or building the rockets? Yes, yeah, it is. That's a good point because well, what, I mean he's a good kid, kid, but Superman. a lot. Of, but, would they call him yes. Superman? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> no. I think what's more important is a lot of his. <laughs> a lot. A lot of who he is has to do with the upbringing yeah, of Martha. Yeah, it's it's about Jonathan Kent. Kent. Yeah. 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 Jonathan so, Kent had a lot of influence on Superman yeah. So I, to his more. The question, I think, is more, what if he had been picked up by terrorists? Like, would he have been evil? Like, if he was why part of you, Al-Qaeda. Why are you suddenly associating terrorists with the Middle East? Because that's where they well, are. Well, that's kind oh, of... Yeah. I kind of, yeah, that was kind of... <laughs> I mean, they're not Sorry. all over there. <laughs> That's the majority of the ones we have to worry about. But then, yeah. like, would it be different because you were raised Muslim, perhaps? Yeah, would he be like, instead of being like, uh, look, sky, bird, it's blade, it's Allah. Would they, would they call him Allah man? <laughs> <laughs> Super Ali. Uh, he, no, they Super him. Ali, fabulous team, <laughs> Ali, Ali Strongest <laughs> ten regular <laughs> men. Maybe he'd have been, like, chased... While stealing he bread or something, the just like that movie. <laughs> I mean, a hundred yeah. bastards with swords. What? Hundred oh. bastards with swords. <laughs> I think, but I think that there's there's probably enough good, genetic good in him, maybe that he would. Oh, but you know what? We're I, know. I, I, know, I know. I know where this is going right now. It all depends not so much on the area he ended up in, but who would have brought people, him yeah. up. I guess it could have been right. also like Osama what if he, bin Laden. Perhaps it would have been so bad. Much. But if it was a nice, uh, you know, Muslim family who who like many of the Muslims. What if, what if he crashed into the, in the in the Soviet Union? <laughs> like what? If, what in this alternate universe? Wow. He gives like a bald guy Rogaine, and he turns into he's Lex Luthor, but he's good because he's like you gave me a bunch of hair. I like you, but. I'm going to try to keep you from being a terrorist, Mr. Super Ali. How about that? Boy, this is just really weird. It is. Are we still on What the Ferk? I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm thinking so we, what the Ferk. We, we went back there, yes. <laughs> If a guy can turn evil from losing his hair, we, we got it. All right, all right. Whatever. Next one. <laughs> Brought to you by Joey. Hey, that's me. If you could travel, oh, this is actually Kim's through me because she didn't oh, have time to, wow. to offer. That sounds awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had Kim through Joey. <laughs> <laughs> Fert to Fert. <laughs> if you could travel to any period of time to visit, what period would it be? Five now, now ago. I know we've asked before. <laughs> which, yeah, I mean, five minutes ago, and pick a different question. <laughs> uh, I know we talked about to live and right, but this is to visit. Where would you want to visit? Mm. In in the, anywhere in the past. Anywhere in the past. Or do will you or, die? If you I said it? anywhere in time, so you could say if you the height anywhere of Roman. Society. But let's go past. I think past is been. the height of Roman. So, the, the height of Roman society. Oh, why? Just to see. Why would that be? How incredible they were back in that time. That is incredible. And how it was long massive, is this right? Because or he's, he's got a point because they had irrigation and, where? and aqueducts. Probably and a good time. So like Atlantis, a good amount of time. As long as you want, I you, go, I you go got back, control. I want to go back to a time that still has plumbing. Well, you have got control, so you can go <laughs> okay. back, you know, and for five minutes, for five minutes if you want, and to. check out the yeah. prehistoric yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no. I think I would probably do that. If I, I want to, if I could spend some five minutes, I would go back to just before. They launched the ship that had the anchor theorem mechanism on it, so I could find out who the hell had that and who invented it. Yeah, no kidding. What the hell are what, you talking what? about? Is that like a disease? 
<laughs> no, it's a, it is, well, actually it's a computer that was, they found on the ocean floor that they brought up and found out that it, it is very sophisticated and it does the seasons and the planets and puts them all in the position. Oh, I know, Dust I know. They, they figured out who, who, who did that, who, who invented ancient aliens. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> it was aliens. I'd want to go back to, guy. to right before, or bef right, right when um, Jesus was put on the cross. Oh. And go, ah! like, Dude. No. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Is it for real? <laughs> oh, <laughs> is it for real? Okay, I, I got that. That's what are we doing? No, I, and it'd be like, the what thing are you is, talking you, about? You, would you stay for the three days to see if he revives or, or what? Sure, why not? No, yeah. go there's back. no plumbing. Well, I guess <laughs> I guess we'd have to go with you're not you're not changing anything. You're visiting, right? Right. Yeah, right, right, right. Just going because you can't be like, hey, out. okay, I want to I want to change my answer. I want to appear right before the Cambrian explosion and see how it explodes. Ooh, that's cool. Mm. All right. I want to go to the end. That doesn't end. make sense because that takes a long time. To the time. end of the oh, world. Right. Did it say past or time? <laughs> I like the. I'd like the. No, the past. Oh, okay. I like the. I like the. Uh, the prehistoric thing. I think that would be kind of cool. Um, but I, I'd probably be interested in. I kind of like the Greek idea, or you know the. Yeah, you like the Greek. Oh, idea. you know what I'd like to see is this the, was through Kim after all. Yes. <laughs> the. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Big forehead. Kim, Big forehead, what, guys. Just real quick. Big what forehead, Kim, guys. I can't. What did Kim want? Neapolitan. Kim. <laughs> Neapolitan. Oh, what did? Yeah. He's <laughs> asking a good question. Chocolate. I didn't say. Okay. 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 She should write it. I'll ask her. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is brought to you by Kale. What world problem needs immediate attention, and what should that action be? They need to fix that damn pipe by UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> I'm sure they fixed it by now. So, oh, yeah. sorry. You think, you, yeah, there were a, a pipe broke at UCLA and water. The world everywhere. knows this at by now. I don't know, world may not know this. The, the it might just be a well, they might have thing. forgotten by the time this goes out. Uh, so. A couple weeks. Uh, immediate problem um, that can be fixed. What can we do? No, by not can be fixed, but should what be. What should be done about it? What should be done about and it? And what right. should be? I, I think the immediate problem is hunger. And that nobody should be hungry. And someone should eat. And but Sally we, Struthers we needs to that, get the food up. We have that power to do it. <laughs> For only 13 cents a day. No, no. We actually have the power The cost of a cup of coffee. Those world. damn guys standing you next to those child. kids should have to feed them. It, it, it <laughs> Instead of just it say they're starving. Yes. <laughs> anymore. For only 45 cents a day, you can help Little Are Red Are you Blue. saying <laughs> that Sally like Struthers should share her cupcakes? He's still looking for shoes. Yeah, she should. He yeah. has no shoes. I have no shoes. All right, I'll jump in and yeah, actually give a real answer. Get this going. Right. Is, Wait, hunger's not a real answer? No, no, no. That was really good. That was really good. <laughs> Thank you. The thing the is, is that, that awesome. global, global warming <laughs> yeah. is the big problem, and it should be addressed immediately because it's obvious it's causing freak weather to happen, which is causing massive damage to our human portions of the planet. And what can we do about it? What can we do about it? What? Well, Indeed. not much. No, what? we can uh, we can uh, the, we can institute the Kyoto. Uh, Who's it? <laughs> I knew treaty. someone would do that. The treaty. Yes, the yeah. Kyoto Treaty should get... be because everybody agreed to it, but w they haven't What's done it. What's the Kyoto it. Treaty? It's where they have they all these things Godzilla that need to be done in in order to yeah. cut down on the pollution. I have to say, on a. Uh, uh, Psychological aspect, you know, even though we had the whole episode where where you guys pretty much convinced me global warming's happening and everything, there was a lot of good proof to it. I still have this like part of me inside me that's like hippie, <laughs> hippie, dude, something right. a hippie. <laughs> All right. Seriously, tree hugger. Do I get an answer here? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm, I want to um, try to abolish corruption <laughs> and um, <laughs> and have true equality and liberty for all and. To do that, we need to decentralize everything, and Bitcoin's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> right around the technology Bitcoin. of of the, the biggest problem is, is the population. Gonna, the no, blockchain no, no. is going to change the world. No, the black chain. The biggest the problem is oh. we need to stop Daryl from bringing up Bitcoin. Okay, wait. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> what can be done about it, Joey? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just melt? <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> All right. Joey fisted me. I'm melting. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, we need time for this. <laughs> No right. fishing. <laughs> this is for me. A polite Englishman, okay. an angry Scottish man, oh, no. a confused Indian, and a crazy Japanese man introduce keynote speaker Bill Gates. Who would like to be the polite Englishman? 
I'll be the fighting. <laughs> okay. Who would like to be the angry Scotsman? That should be me because I get angry Scotsman. Okay, sure. Okay. Confused Indian? Native American Wait, or is this Native? like Middle Eastern? Middle Eastern. Okay. No. Okay. Oh my uh, goodness. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do that. Okay, okay so you're the crazy Japanese man. Okay. Uh, I want right. crazy Japanese. Okay, you be crazy Japanese. You can be Bill Gates. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. Hi hey, everybody. Welcome to our keynote speaker. He's coming in right now. We're introducing him. What are we doing here? I do not understand what we're here for. Hey, shut up! I said I was going to talk. I do not want to be here. Why? Why am I here? Let's Who's have got some the sugar tea. cubes? What the hell are you talking about? Sugar cubes! I mean, hello! What are we doing? Uh, Is this you're a all China fired. man? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Billy! <laughs> I do not know what part of Asia this man from. This man? Sugar cube! Oh, yeah, man. That man sugar right there! Cube. That man right there killed my mother! Uh, what the hell does sugar cube have to do with a Japanese mother. guy? I don't care! It's sugar cube! It's crazy. I've changed so my cube. mind and I'm taking back all of my charity money from the world. Hey! You it's cannot do that, it. Bill Gates! It's not worth it. Only take away from Pakistan! We do not like! <laughs> <laughs> Only from them! Hey! We do not take away from Mother India! Good sir! <laughs> well, will you get Let me the English service? You, you may just suck on my dick. What the, uh, I mean, what the hell? That doesn't sound like an Englishman. That sounds like a Chinese okay, Englishman. Okay, you, you be the Scottishman. I'll be the Englishman. Hello. Oh, hello. Good day. Why oh. are you be so angry? <laughs> oh, it's because we own Don't you. Don't you know what to say yeah. all the time? Oh, I'm talking I like an Australian. I found this Microsoft, yes. oh, and it was a need. great company. And now I got I'm it. into charity because obviously people the don't. Who the hell I am? What, what is this software? I do not know this software. What is this? I only know that we receive um, phone calls late guys, night don't you from watch Americans Trek asking, <laughs> I need help with my software. Uh, excuse me, but shouldn't we, you shouldn't be on stage yet, we haven't introduced you. <laughs> you bitch. You haven't in, even tried to no, introduce me yet. This is Bill Gates, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now. I cannot do oh, the edges, Captain. <laughs> the Gates Foundation is a wonderful thing. And we are providing. Oh my God. The, the Gates money. Foundation, then just like Ronald McDonald. Bring this up, fool. <laughs> Now. <laughs> You're evil because you slot a cow. I don't like you. Oh, I rhymed. <laughs> you know, at one point or another, everybody morph, morphed into the other voice. <laughs> Somewhere <laughs> along the line. Just, oh, oh my god. god. I like how every time you're English, you're Australian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello. Hello. <laughs> like All right. Dreadnought. Another weird one for me. Here we go. Discuss the physics of time travel. Using baby talk. You are dominating this. <laughs> wow. Baby <laughs> talk, huh? Me said judge a beast. If we had time travel, what's it like? Wait. I uh, like their babies. I even time. Oh, shut up, doo doo head. Eight, eight miles per hour. <laughs> can I, I can like I to go back before I poop. Can I Dark brown going poopy. Baby? <laughs> shut up. <laughs> uh, when you go, when you, when you go, when you go, when you go, when you go, when you when, go at the wait, speed wait, of light, no, you, you go so fast that you can't even smell your farts. Because <laughs> you outrun them. <laughs> the stupid. relative to you, the fart's still moving light speed. Well, if you go back in time, what? <laughs> just what, what the hell? Is what is so <laughs> oh, I don't know, you have to uncontrol my arms, too. Baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's a T Rex baby. What do you know? <laughs> <laughs> if you go back in time, uh, can you change things or is everything the same? Change your diaper. Shut up. <laughs> Mommy changes. <laughs> the diaper is the poo poo. I Mommy, go back in Mommy time. Mommy lactates more when you go back in time. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy You're have a pervert. Firm, Mommy have firmer boobies. <laughs> What's a pervert? <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy that took me in the white van. Like, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> something filed something. <laughs> he said he had candy. And then you go 88 miles per hour with him? It wasn't candy. I mean, I don't know. Asian again. <laughs> I like lollipops. Yeah. yeah. I lollipops are the best. Why does Wally pop? <laughs> oh, well, let me. Because his mommy's lactating. <laughs> I don't think it's good to, to do lactating because you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> you startled me. Is that what you said in the white van? <laughs> what are we talking it's, about? It's, it's time travel. Is, <laughs> uh, what does travel even mean? If I go back in time, would I be back in my dad's scrotum? 
<laughs> What's this scrotum? Where are you with a spoon with? <laughs> what is spoon? I don't like the spoon. I love spoon. I don't like the spoon. All right, you guys are more racist than the opening of the Phantom Menace. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, he's a giant. Oh, 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 Look at the Jedi. Jedi, they come. They must have been dead now. All right, this is the longest three minutes in history. I know. Make it stop. That's what she said. Make it stop. Can we time travel before the segment? All right, next. Next, baby. Yes. Oh, you definitely forgot everything. to put on faith search. <laughs> oh, more acting out. Here we go oh, from Daryl. Oh, yeah! No. <laughs> Act out Chris Tucker, Lil Jon, Barry White, and James Brown going to get ice cream cones. <laughs> okay, who's Chris Tucker? Oh, wait, Chris Tucker. Okay, I got it. Uh, yeah, from, uh, who's Lil Jon? Lil Jon is... Hey! What? what? Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll be Barry see White. Chris, Chris Tucker. I'll I'll I figured you would be oh, wait, Barry Chris White. Tucker, let me try Hey! What do you mean you're going to like this? <laughs> no, it's Chris Tucker's like, same time, man, same time. I don't know you. Same time. But he, he does go really high pitched. He's like, oh, uh, no, you didn't. Never touch Black Man's radio. That kind of thing. All right. Well, I'll, do, well, you, I'll be James Brown. Okay, I'll try to do Chris. Maybe I'll do James uh, Brown, though. All right. Who, who, now, I'll what do, are we uh, doing? I don't know, little I'll John. do a little We're John. going I'm to do ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just bring up the pitch more, and you're, you've got yeah. the Chris Tucker. Okay. All right. We're in the car, right? Go get ice cream. We're in the car. Go to drive! What? Put the foot down on the gas! What? Yeah, yeah. driving fast! Yeah! Everybody! Don't be driving like that! That's a little fast! We have Everybody! Everybody! Yeah, you want some air conditioning? Okay, we're having a skid rabbit! Basically, ah, I like new pollard. <laughs> yeah! Let's get out of the car! Why is he all here? I only have one all bird. Right. Everyone! <laughs> left foot out! Oh! Everybody step out of the car! Ow! Oh! Oh! Then. I can't hear you! I can't hear you! Yeah! I'm hearing it! I'm just not saying anything. I want to hear it! Hey, wait, wait! Now, get on up! Everybody! <laughs> get on up! <laughs> no! <We're, laughs> hey, man, we're in. No! Oh, oh, get on up! <laughs> Stop in the door! Somebody shoot him. Oh. Shoot him. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Pop oh. him. Thank you, baby. I thought the black guy was a gun! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I got shot! I you got my... cookies and cream! This fing hurts! Oh, my... oh. oh, I search for ice cream, baby. I'm dead! <laughs> I don't even know what's going on here. I don't. I, I, I don't I, I, what? Is that? Stop. You guys are too loud for me. I, I'm gonna go get ice cream by myself. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna listen anymore. No, 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 no. Not a mitten chip? Yeah! I want some mitten chip right now. Yep. yep. Yes. I'm bleeding! Oh. <laughs> somebody, 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 somebody give me a gauze! <laughs> oh! Somebody shoot him again! I mean, somebody, somebody shoot him again! Uh, uh, excuse me, excuse me, uh, uh, excuse me. Damn. Uh, I would like some, uh. That was my head! <laughs> some bouncy berry spectacular! Oh and, uh. Um. Oh, oh, he got blood on me. Wait. I don't like which no. ice cream shop are we at, by the way? Baskin Robinson. Oh, 31 flavor! <laughs> I, I, I don't know. What? Yeah! Go on. All right. <laughs> Holy shit. That was rough. That was that was awesome, Daryl, but shut the f*** up. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Okay. Uh, this is from Joey, partially from Gim. If you could be frozen, that sounds so good right now. You can be frozen Ooh. to be thought Let in the it go. To the future. <laughs> to be thought in the future with no ill effects, would you do it? Frozen to go Ooh. in the future? And to be thought so you can be in the future. I wouldn't do right it. Right now, no. No. Because I think the answer is probably similar for most of us. Wait. Mine mine would be no. So post it works. Hell yeah. that, what you're saying is it works. For when you get on frozen, it worked. And it works. It's gotta okay, work. Okay, all right. But the question is, okay, if you do it, when do you do it? Uh, right. Right. Because yeah, right after having a kid is not the right time to do it. Right, well, exactly. And the other thing, unless you all your relationships your are gone, yeah. if your whole family Friend. can get frozen, then that would be a different. Story, like Mr. Freeze, I suppose. freeze. <laughs> is everybody cool? Everybody cool. <laughs> well, of course, yeah. we're not going to be willing to give up our. Uh, the ones of us that are married, we're not going to be willing to give well, up. Let's our say you could, you could take your relationship. Okay, if you can take it, I definitely would go probably to the beginning of the twenty second century. Because I think by then a lot of the nanotechnology will be. Oh, so you're saying when you would uh, unfreeze? Oh. 
Yes. Okay. Unfreeze then. Uh, but I'm saying, part, I'm not, I'm, by when I meant, when would you do it in your life? Would you do it now? Or oh, would you when? Yeah, would you immediately. Go? Immediately? Immediately. Okay. I wouldn't want to My do life it. My sucks. I, I want to see the new Star Wars movies first. Yeah, I, I'd like. See, I'd like. Want, I want to wait until I got a little older, maybe, and things weren't as good. You know, I was getting. But then, what if the technology is only far enough along that they can keep you in stasis? Like, you know, you you turn sixty, then you get frozen. Then when you're thawed out, they're like, "Yeah, we can keep you at sixty forever, but you're never going to be younger." Oh, good point. But the medication, you think that medical advances then you would probably live longer right at 60 that's what so i'm thinking good shot. That's, no what i'm thinking is like yeah. the technology might get to the point where you can live forever you yeah. well, see and that's why i said the 22nd right. century because by right. then i think we will have uh, but maybe the technology to make yourself younger would be the thing is what you gotta be think there of, too i think you gotta think maybe. of culture shock yeah. at the same point after the singularity right. you go i think too it'll far be in awesome the future. I, I love the like a star trek next generation when they found those three people from the 20th century i don't know it's pretty bad it was a cowboy guy I remember that episode. But uh, but what if it's like English and language might be completely different in la- and just like culture, you might have such a culture shock, you might hate living, you know, the type You're of like, place. Oh, so you're taking a chance new now. Great. And you didn't gradually like. <laughs> yeah. See, I'd want to probably do it at the beginning of the singularity. That way, as everything majorly changes, I'm kind of going with it. So it's not such a culture shock. Like well, all of a sudden, since it's probably going to happen within our lifetimes, I think you're going to already live to that point. Or will I? <laughs> okay, a little bit after when the singularity is <laughs> What's singularity? Uh, episode 6 You should listen to our I mean, Technological singularity You should listen to our episodes more often Yeah. Well, you know, you know I was thinking about the technological aspect of everything Alright <laughs> Daryl Uh-oh. Who is it? Bitcoin Everyone hates mine What's Litecoin? No, it's just because he sighed and I went, oh, no. How many gallons are in Oh okay. no! Ask one at a time. <laughs> one gallon of ice cream. Everybody. Uh, one one gallon. gallon of what? Of ice. ice cream. Oh, very good. Okay. A ten-gallon <laughs> hat. Ooh, that's a good one. Hmm. hmm. I'd say about one. How I'd many say gallons. How many gallons in uh, a ten-gallon hat? Yeah. Gallons of what? Just how much? I, I, I'm assuming that we're talking about like filling it up with a liquid. Okay, so, good. Or you we did that. How many gallons no, in a ten-gallon hat? I think it's less than a gallon. You know, I have an answer for that, and it depends how much the cowboy's sweating. Ah, I know the answer. <laughs> what? It depends how much the cowboy's sweating. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I know the answer. That would make it. According to Google, it is three quarters of a gallon. Three ah, quarters of a gallon. Okay. Huzzah! Nice. Good job. <laughs> I didn't even or know. Also, mine was pretty actually, vague. Closer, less than I got. <laughs> closer, eighty-six percent actually. So, it could have right? been one tenth of a gallon. There's one more. All right, okay, what's a swimming f- pool after fat bastard cannonball? Before or after weight loss well, surgery? Well, first yeah, we, we gotta figure out how much water is in a normal surgery. swimming pool. How Zero. big is a swimming pool? Hey, how many what, 30,000 gallons or something like that? Oh, so everyone's no. okay, Google. analyzing this. How many gallons in a well, swimming pool? Yeah, like, like you weren't <laughs> expecting that. Well, no, you just say a swimming pool. But fat bastard. Club, the average swimming pool takes 18,000 minus 20,000 wow. gallons of water to fill. Minus. It's negative water. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, that, yeah. that means it has minus 2,000 gallons in it. Oh. Wow! So fat right. Holy bastard. crap! I was it's way the, off. So maybe it has man. negative water in it after fat bastard <laughs> I think it meant two yeah. twenty yeah. 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 Right, eighteen. So to I would say, uh, and after fat bastard, if it, at, is, if it starts at twenty, it's probably like fifteen. No, not five thousand. Like five gallons are left. That's what I say. Oh, five, <laughs> oh wow! Right, right. I, I I would realistically, five hundred gallons goes out. No, realistically, like realistically, like twenty thousand gallons in there. There's yeah. probably 19,950 left. I mean, he's big, but he's not that big. We're, yeah. we're being, the thing is, we're being very figurative go up, here. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's going to so come back down water into come out. the water. Yeah. Well, so. then, you know, it's just a pool full of fat bastard after that. So, you know. <laughs> well, it's like a little dope. Now, if there were all the water. a thousand fat bastards, <laughs> right? And then we're talking about some water displacementage. Well, that would be a the lot ocean. Of fat bastards. Yeah. The, in this room. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Speak for your... Me. Well, <laughs> he's really the only one. That, how come he didn't gain weight? What the hell? I've gained some. Right. Yeah, he's I'll just not saying where. One <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> hey, look up porn stash. <laughs> Did this thing stop? Oh, oh my god! Go. I think it actually stalled on that. My, my bad. All it right. Stalled on gallon that. question. Oops. Back to Daryl. Who will be the biggest? Now I'm dominating. Discover. Oh. oh. <laughs> Who will be the biggest discovery? 
What will be the biggest discovery innovation in the next century? Discoveries Ooh, or yeah. innovation. Slash or slash. Yeah. This yeah. is kind of like the cryogenic question. <laughs> One more time. Read it, please. <sighs> what will be the biggest discovery innovation in the next century? <laughs> okay. What will be the biggest discovery? Wow, you got it that time? I did. Yeah. Discovery slash innovation of the next century. Uh, I think now technology is probably up there. That's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, Wait, right. just technology in general? I would... Can no, specific? specific nanotechnology. Well, well, nano, okay, right. Yeah, I didn't say that. I thought you said technology. I think technology. it'll be technology. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think technology is going to be huge. Yeah, and medicine. Actually, yeah. Nano, yeah. nano was kind of where I was going for my Artificial answer, Artificial intelligence. So. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, okay. I mean, okay. snap. Yeah, yeah. Snap. Yeah. You know what's interesting, though, is I think like nanotechnology is what's going to lead to big innovations in all spaces, including yeah. that. Good good yeah. one, though. Really good one. Oh, thank you very much, but you're looking at the wrong spot now. Tape. Sorry, I don't know oh, who's over there. Okay, now we're blocking Kale with the box. Oh. <laughs> That's okay, it was an improvement. Um, I think. Oh, oh stop! <laughs> oh, I was I have. Speaking of Baskin Robbins, I was there yesterday, and there was a more scary version. And of James Brown of was Kale. leaning on the ground. Kale? Oh, oh, like more you? scary. Oh, like, no! He was wearing like what, a big like summer hat and was like bushy beard and curly hair come down to here. <laughs> And I was like, hey, hey, Kim, look, scary version of Kale. <laughs> and she's like, shit. Yeah. What did you hear at the best in Robbins? Shit. Hey, look, it's Ralph! It's Ralph! He's not getting it! He's there and he's there! What's going on? What was our question? I think uh, a big innovation will be uh, innovation another cure of, of a major disease. Yeah, well, that's good. Cancer, um... Well, Parkinson's. how about Ebola? Parkinson's. That's been in the news a lot. Well, yeah. Yes, I think Ebola will be the biggest innovation in the next century. No, no. <laughs> It's been innovating a lot. Uh, yes, it has actually. <laughs> hey, now, now I can remember to um, look at Ralph. Yeah, Ralph, Ralph. Why? Because it's closer to oh, Kale's crotch. Right. You guys want no, to it's see closer Ralph? to his. Fine. Here he is. Mars, Ralph. Holy shit! Yeah. He looks like a puppet. Hey, <laughs> damn puppet! He's right here, man. <laughs> There's your Ralph, people. Yeah. Take one last look. All right. Well, I guess we kind of settled on... Uh, Ralph would be the biggest technology. Artificial <laughs> intelligence. Three of us are like nanotechnology, and you're talking about... Uh, curing, like, we covered everything. Which, well. again, I kind of think like the nanotech will lead to cures for sure. a lot of major diseases, because you could have them identify cancer cells yeah. and eliminate mm -hmm. them specifically. That's why, even though so, Transcendent, the, Transcendence wasn't that great of a movie, the nanotech <laughs> part of it was awesome. Nice. Let's see if it's another Daryl or Joey. Kale. Hi y'all! Oh, did you? No, I have some. Oh, that we had your turn. All right. What song do you wish you had written? Mm -hmm. uh, all the Beatles songs. I forgot <laughs> that was my old one. I can't even yeah. remember what my answer was. Uh, <laughs> one song. One song. Oh, the touch. <laughs> oh, yeah, the touch. Yeah. Yeah, Joey would be known at every con in the universe. <laughs> yeah, good luck getting. They would be like. On that they one. would be like Stan Bush. They would be like Joey. Joey Shamble. Yeah. yeah. God. Yeah. So they, so. The way we say Stan Bush, Stan Stand Bush, Bush, or Stan Bush. We got Joey Shamble. <laughs> Sham. Uh, the see. Sham. The Sham. Uh, let's see. Uh, so, that was yours? Or I you guess. Don't... I mean, we talking money or for, like, creative reasons? Whatever. Because money-wise... Yeah, you wouldn't get very good. Oh, I want it for uh, to be beat it. That's true. <laughs> and I would go eat it. <laughs> because you could be parodied by Weird Al. Yes. yes. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good but, one. But uh, if a real song, I would want... Probably to be more of like a composer, like a oh, Mozart oh, or something ooh, that would, let, oh, that's on I, there forever. Oh, yeah. oh, right. Uh, Danny Elfman. Anything Danny Elfman. I just want to be Danny Elfman. That would be so awesome. Just like <laughs> any of his songs. <laughs> well, because you could do you could do movie right. scores, you could do classical type or music pop. or pop. I mean, that'd be awesome. But he means a specific song yeah. you wish you had written. So uh, maybe the uh, Batman theme. Little Little ass. Girls make or me feel juice. so good. Oh, okay, little. Okay. No, wait, I no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. I would I say uh, I would say I Bohemian know. Rhapsody. Oh, good call. Nice. I want to say and Billy Joel. Interestingly Joel. Somebody enough, will get that. Mine, mine before you even said that was Rhapsody in Blue. Ah, Billy, Billy Joel, Joel so. Piano Man. Cool. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, good one. That's uh, and good then one. you could be parodied by Weird Al also. Nice. Yes. I, I probably have to go in Weird Al, yeah. like uh, yeah. Eat It or Fat, yeah. Or maybe the Star Wars theme. Ooh, John mm, Williams. I do kind of like your idea a lot. I do like your idea a lot more. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Superman theme. Dun, yeah. dun, 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 If I was thinking of another one, I'd, I'd like uh, Dream On by Aerosmith. Ooh, you're yeah. picking a lot of good ones. I was thinking 
something biter, but maybe like Love in an Elevator. Like that. <laughs> That's a fun one. Yeah. Dazed and confused, Led Zeppelin. You see, it's it's got a lot of crossover. Yeah, like, would be a pretty song. good like, one too. I am kind of tempted to, to say I would like to. <laughs> hey, wait, Paul's got one. Some... Me so horny. <laughs> 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 see what gets the most play at. at oh, uh, Duncan style, because then I'd be really famous for a while, and then everyone would forget me. Work okay. <laughs> Gun, wait. Gun. And if I saved all my money, I. Gun, Daryl, Gun, you told me. Massachusetts. Huh? Massachusetts. Uh, that'd be cool, but it's the fourteenth biggest state. Like, it no is. one knows it really. <laughs> it's okay. Be go cool. for a song a lot of people know or it gets a lot of play. That's kind of what I'm. I have to go for anything. Nicki well, Minaj. I was just thinking some yeah. awesome song be that you would yeah, love to. Right. Everybody, yeah, I wrote that. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Next up, brought to you by Daryl. Come up with the ultimate smackdown. Whom versus who? Go! We got Hitler <laughs> versus the Stalin. world. Oh, that kind of happened. Versus. No. Wait, no, that's good. That's good. Hitler. Hitler versus Gandhi. Versus yeah. Gandhi. Yeah! <laughs> Gandhi would be like, I'm going to not be eating anything. Hitler would be like, burn him. I'd like to see, if we're doing wow. Hitler, I'd like to see him versus Billy Jack. Because then he could say, I'm going to take this side of my foot and I'm going to kick you on that side of your face and there's not a damn thing you can do about it. <laughs> and then he would do it <laughs> and knock Hitler down and so kick you gotta his go, ass. But if you got to you go like Hitler versus like Genghis Khan because they're okay, like on the same no. level. It doesn't have to be all real people either. I mean, <laughs> no, no, okay, no. And then, and then Hitler versus Aquaman. <laughs> That might hey, be a fair fight. That would not be fair because he could cause a shark. Why are you talking to my fish? <laughs> not exactly. uh, I was defeated by a tuna. I don't know why he sounded like that. <laughs> I am Mario Papers! Aquaman will pop up. You cooking something here, boy? <laughs> oh, what? Oh. What? Okay, so no, how about. You did not just say that. How about. Uh, oh, no. You can bleep that oh, out. You can bleep no. that out. <laughs> If you did, if you missed that, we're not repeating it. How about uh, <laughs> Prince versus Michael Jackson? Let's see. I'm gonna put a note in here. <laughs> the thriller version of Michael Jackson. Extreme. <laughs> extreme uh, anti-Semitism. <laughs> oh no, I'm not anti-Semitic. I like Disney. Let's see. Smackdown. Okay. Uh, how about? Um, oh, All right. <laughs> Bruce Lee versus Kung Fu from the TV show Kung Fu. Uh-oh. David Carradine as oh, that oh, right, right, right. as the character. Now that would oh, be a smackdown. And then he would just like True. suffocate him and he'd be like, oh yeah, oh yeah. It feels like- oh, who's the um, creator of uh, Dianetics? Luke Skywalker oh, okay. versus Ron- L. Ron Hubbard. L. Ron Hubbard. Versus Jesus. <laughs> and why? <laughs> and why? <laughs> yes, why? <laughs> why? Would- because. Oh, even better. <laughs> Joseph Smith versus Jesus. What'd you do to my religion? Actually, I want to. I want to see like Luke Skywalker versus I Captain see, America. I want to see Luke Skywalker versus is, Captain America. The thing is, Captain America. How much would he suck when someone can like force force push his like, shield out of the way? I don't think I'd want to watch him like, suck like, anybody. Hey, it may, actually, it might, he might not be able to because the vibrindium or whatever it's called oh. might repel the force because we don't. Right. Know, I know, would right. love Physical. to see the uh, Scientologist. Yeah, that would that'd be one of the first times like Luke's there all badass. Is like, oh shit! I mean, Joe. Scientologists Ralph, whatever. and Mormons talking to each other about religion. There you go. Yeah, that would That's be smacked down. Smack. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, Ralph versus Joey, go! Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. I, and when you edit that, try to get the bell right where it is. It was close enough. All right. Uh, this is mine. Name the best burgers. Ham. <laughs> no, that's not. Well, I'll sort, uh, I'll sort out. My favorite is In and Out. However, that being said, I've never tried Five Guys or what's the other new good one? The Habit. I haven't tried either of those. I don't think Pretty Five good. Guys is all that. Good. No, I don't, I don't think it blows. Guys, I think way. it's good. The best one is Carl's Jr. Double Western Bacon Cheeseburger. Ooh, I just realized. Ooh. Smash Burgers. Okay, good. awesome. My and all-time habit. favorite is Bad for You. Double Double awesome. Animal Style No Tomatoes from In and Out. However. For a limited time special, that Carl's Jr. Buffalo Blue Cheeseburger. Oh, oh that one was really good. Yeah, the so Steakhouse Burger. So good. Mm. Yeah, love that one. It was awesome. By the was way, it, they, um, is this limited to fast food or anything? I know, you guys. Whatever. Uh, Frisco's makes really good burgers. Oh, Frisco's, yeah. What is Frisco's? Over in uh, uh, City uh, Industry. Industry. Frisco's. Yeah. 60 and like Azusa. Yeah. 
Excellent. All the girls are on horses. Um, so I want to ask Ralph, why do you like Five Guys? What's so good about Five Guys? So I haven't tried it yet. It, it, it's it's not that it's like anything special. Their burgers are thicker than um, In and Out. For example, one single meat patty from Five Guys is basically like a double double. So the the it's thicker. It's like it, a pound of meat. Do you get to choose your own? Yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of toppings. Hey, you you pick it's like Fud Ruckers, right? It's like Fud Ruckers. Oh, yeah. Ruckers oh pretty good. that's a good one. Fud Ruckers, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like Fud Ruckers, yeah. Uh, Amazingly enough, the Crest in Temple City, they have the, like, cheap steak dinner. They also recently came out with a hamburger, and I split Ooh. one with Jason a, a while back, and it was really we good. Wait, were you I drunk? I don't believe it. I we was to get dates. <laughs> I, got a, I got a Facebook post from, or not post, but a Facebook message from Jason going, hey, you want to help carry Joe out of the Crest? I was like, I'm in the desert. So. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? They stiffed us on the burger that night, because yeah. they're like, oh, we're not going to be able to fire up the yeah, grill. I was Would you like some jalapeno yeah. poppers? We're like... Microwave, uh, really? Right. Oh, well. uh, let's see. So, did everybody, what was your burger? It'd have to be I, in and out because I mean, there's some I other said that five decent guys ones. My favorite. Yeah. Well, what's Bob's, your favorite? Okay. Bob's Big I mean, what's your favorite? I like Bob's Big Boy. My favorite. Yeah, my yeah, favorite burger. I'd have to be with the rest of you guys. I really like In and Out. How does In and Out? Why do so many people like White Castle on the East Coast? Because I've tried them before. Well, I've never tried a. a, a I think wait, you've never had, tried. Wait, have you never had real White no, Castle? No, I've only had the frozen one. I have. I have. I, have, 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 have I didn't real. think it was that great. It's. Just, it's, 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 it's not, not that it's, great. It's basically like a Waffle House. <laughs> it's it's, it's <laughs> food. They're <laughs> good, but not good. I'm sorry, I wasn't um, paying attention. I also. It's okay. I also like tops. Over in Pasadena. Oh, Tops. Top. Oh, yeah. Tops chili the, cheese fries. Oh. The, uh, one of the best burgers there, in I'll my opinion, almost. is the patty melt. It's really good. It has a very nice savory flavor mm, to it. Savory. So. <laughs> 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 okay. All right, brought to you by Kale. What aspect of nanotechnology would you most want and why? Uh, that's a good one. Superpowers. I, that's good. <laughs> uh, Story. <laughs> The ability to be young and healthy without having to be, you know, actively exercise or anything. You know, just be young and healthy. Every American's dream. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I mean, be young, healthy, strong, and just be that way for as long as I can be. Like, I want to get, like, when we were reading uh, Red Mars, where they got that thing where they got the shot. Right. With, which basically took them back to being, like, 30 or 20 or whatever. That's awesome. I would love that. Make so, now technology faster. for medical. For, for medical to... For, for health. Yeah. Youth and health. Youth and health, yeah. Paul? After this one. It'd be fun first, if, to have it to build things, to build whatever you want. Yeah. Kind of like the Transforming and Transformers 4, which sucked. That's, uh, oh. that's kind of where I'm going with mine. I want a vat but of like, generalized nanobots so that I can program and make anything I want. Sounds almost there. like you're saying, I want a vat of whoop ass. <laughs> well, it could do that too. <laughs> Nanobots, whoop ass. Yeah. <laughs> Nanobots, assemble. Whoop ass, <laughs> roll out. Now yeah. do the card. Nanobots, whoop ass. Oh. <laughs> Wait, I need to what identify to that. Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> what happened to the game? Computer, whoop ass. <laughs> <laughs> I almost said it like him there. <laughs> Whoop ass. All right, guys. Oh, what's yours? I mean, what's yours? Nanobots, what do you want? Uh, I Girl. really don't know too much to... Just little thing. little robots that can do anything, like microscopic. I understand that. I, I, would, I would have to say medical would be the best tool right now just because it could possibly cure harmful diseases like cancer and destroy all that stuff. If we had them, it definitely could. I think I'm with Joey, but a step further, because not only would they keep you young and like maintain you on a cellular level, I think they could also do things like transform you. Like You could almost be like the T-1000, because you could have like a bunch of metal nanobots in you, and you're like, "Oh, I need to drive a nail into the wall," and you just like hands a hammer, boom, boom. Oh, you know? That would be nice. So you could be like a universal tool set. Just with your body. <laughs> mine would be yeah, arrow. Mine should be a I, universal tool. I give yeah. my, <laughs> well, hey, ten inch tong. Come on. <laughs> I give my hammer like a face and eyes and eyebrows, and be like, "Hey, tap." <laughs> Handy man. No. Oh. What? Handy man. Oh, you're oh, talking. Handyman. You're talking yeah, about. Yeah. Sorry, it's my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Kids programming. <laughs> Thank you Come much. on, Domino's. <laughs> oh, hey, oh. Wait, this is brought by Domino's? I thought it was Del Taco. Oh, I want to try that new Domino's thing where they got the chicken and they pour the crap on it. What? They pour the chicken crap <laughs> You know, on it? that doesn't... You didn't make <laughs> it sound <laughs> after. Now from Domino's, the chicken down. crap deluxe. Delicious. <laughs> no, they take their chicken tenders or whatever. And, all right. No, they have their chicken tenders or whatever, and then they just put, like, uh, cheese and... 
I can't think of what else is on it. Sounds and it's on a pizza. It's on yeah, a pizza. You might want to draw it. It's by themselves. Oh, by themselves. Okay. I forgot we're doing uh, You that. guys are so loud with the box. <laughs> Stop banging the box so hard. <laughs> That's what she said. Well, you right. my <laughs> oh, what crazy dreams or nightmares that have you had? That was called teeing it up and waiting for a golfer to come back. I was all, all right. alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, Joey. We're, we're talking. Kick. You're going to have to read it again. <laughs> what crazy dreams or nightmares have you had, Ball? I was all alone. And, and a, a guy in a white Rolling a donut. <laughs> Rolling a donut, and the snake and the vest came up. <laughs> he was big enough. Yeah, anyway, that's uh, I, I always forget him. I should write him down because I do have some weird ones. Right. Which, and it's gone. Mine, yeah, yeah. mine was I was taking a walk around the block. <laughs> that really happened. Oh, that happened. Crazy that's shoe right. guy. The shoe guy. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds like it would be a dream. <laughs> well, Joey and I both came up with the idea that actually I was I'm like the beautiful mind guy. I was hallucinating the whole event. <laughs> People are walking by going, why is that guy talking to himself? <laughs> yeah. um, I, I, I have reoccurring dreams of certain things like uh, being, there's cars coming at me the wrong way on the freeway, planes are crashing uh, right, out of the sky. Right. Uh, I can't think of any right now. I always remember my <laughs> dreams really well as I'm falling asleep, strangely enough. I remember, oh, I'll tell you, kicks in. some of my favorite dreams usually have to do with like visiting a place that's just so interesting that it feels like a place I've been. Like, you know, when you're traveling, you have memories that are so strongly tied to a specific place, like Devil's mm -hmm. Churn by the coast and stuff right. like that. Um, just some places are really memorable. And every now and then I've had these dreams where I'm someplace where it's just like, this is so awesome. Like, th just this neighborhood and, like, walking the streets. It's a really interesting neighborhood. One of the ones that I remember really vividly was very interesting. It was, like, um, a, a lair up top in this uh, town that was like a strip mall but then they had these giant glass panes in the ground and maybe about 50 feet below that was like a giant swimming pool and there were some spots where there was an opening and you could like dive into the pool from the street level it was just really bizarre and it, underneath the ground there were like humongous water slides and like this whole intricate system of Dude, I don't have awesome dreams like that uh -huh. my dream well but, like, okay. sometimes I think about that and I'm like it seems like I was there like this water park yeah, that's all underground. So cool. It was so cool. It was very awesome. Yeah, I mean, see, like yeah. my dreams, like I, I have a lot of recurring dreams where I met my the house I grew up in with my parents' house. My, both my parents are past, but they're there and like they're not owning the house because the house has been sold. But we're living there for some reason, and they're there. And then there's like a volcano that goes off in the background, and the lava, <laughs> the lava is heading for the house, or it's gonna flood yeah. or something. Sometimes there, I have those like impending death uh, dreams too. Like like you. It's, everything seems totally normal in the dream, but then you go in the backyard and you see like these big like spaceships yeah. hovering in the distance, and then you see like uh, some this. plasma blast coming toward you, and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, like uh, crashing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always yeah. had crashing planes. Were always I'm never in the plane. I'm always seeing it crash. But recently, you I had a dream where you and I were at like some space expo, and mm -hmm. it was like a crashing space shuttle. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and we're like, damn, that mission's messed up now. Three minutes, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. I do have a my okay. I have a dream that uh, I guess you'd say it kind of continues is because my father was an architect. And so every time I dream about buildings, it's kind of like I have that feeling it's him. You know, even though I'm, I'm, a, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in the afterlife or any of that. But it's, a, it's like a connection to him. And so this one time I dreamed of this amazing mansion that my father had built. And it was like all the Greek temples and just about every kind of cool architectural feature you would think about, it would be somewhere in that big, massive mansion that had like thousands of rooms. And it was just so cool to me that even now I can see those rooms and all that cool stuff. That I happens. actually seem to have an architecture going on in my dreams where within different dreams, there's actually a, almost a map that I can at times remember where and it's a mixture of places like in my real life like Pasadena where I worked one Colorado is connected to Watts which is kind of up the mm -hmm. hill here mm -hmm. which is connected through a forest to like right. this other it's, so it's like all connected to like one city yeah and, and I actually go back like to the world Grand Theft Auto San Andreas where like it's not that far to go from LA to San Francisco right yeah. but, but <laughs> what's weird about it is it somehow connects stays in my dream where I'll go back to that area without realizing like there's some subconscious that keeps those connected yeah somehow. there is something like that there's also the thing that happens in dreams where sometimes you're comfortable with the architecture and like you turn away and then you go back and yeah. you're like wait now I'm lost like right. why is this corridor different than before has any of this happened to you guys though like you have a dream and then you get up and you're like you think the dream is realistic and you think to yourself 
Wait, did I dream that, or did that really yeah, happen? Yeah, actually, yeah, I saw a giant spider on the wall, and I got up, and I was going to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> well, no, there's been times. So, that's the ultimate smack. There around. have been times. And, and, and I was like, oh, wait, 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 what? But not, but that was when you woke up, right? Like yeah. when you're. There's been times where I think it happened, and it's not. It's like that thing where I'm going, where there's a car coming at me the wrong way on the freeway. I yeah. think I, oftentimes it, did that really happen to me? Right. Well, obviously, that's never happened to me before. But okay, I, there, here, here's a weird one. There was one time where. Um, at band I, my, camp? No, I, I heard my alarm go off, and I get Pegging. out of bed, and I start getting ready, and I shower. I told you about that one. And lather up and do my hair, and then I'm, like, shaving in front of the mirror. Then my alarm goes off, and I'm waking up for real this time. And I'm going, I have to do it all over again. <laughs> 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 because it seems so real. Like, I felt right. the water and everything in the shower. I thought for sure I had showered already. I remember one. You know? I was at a Kmart. I wish I could do that in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I lifted up the thing, and they're all original Star Wars figures, and they're all two bucks. Oh, that's a great dream. dream. <laughs> yeah. all, right. all right. I have a dream. <laughs> I know. Right, for what? Pretend you're Yoda ordering at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> all right, we'll go one at a time. Mm, cheese fries, I win. <laughs> Eat. Eat. <laughs> mm, verb I had not. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done there, I mean, you know. <laughs> taco is it? Yes! Taco is... Good! Ooga booga! I would like the number two. <laughs> okay, no, no. we're over. Two, yeah. <laughs> two are the number I would like, yeah. <laughs> cookie Monster are like number two also, Grover! Number two! Okay. I'm not two cookies! <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes, number two I would like with extra cheese. But <laughs> ketchup you will hold, yes. <laughs> <laughs> cheese upon it, yes, I do. Yes. <laughs> cheese, no onion, no pickles. I told you my order. Mind what you have learned. Yeah. Save my food at will. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yes, not able to eat. Must have forks. <laughs> A knife you will bring oh, with forks <laughs> and spoons. Forks you will. Mm, I need to hold. If you do not, I need to hate. hate these <laughs> I like a parfait. <laughs> it's like a good parfait. It's a great need to diarrhea. Diarrhea, Del Taco needs to, yes. <laughs> so you wanted. To the dark you wanted. Side, you will. So you wanted no ketchup on that. Mm, so certain are you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Touch <laughs> 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 me by your super size, I do. Curls, you want to What the f are you saying? <laughs> 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 Happy meal for a boy, please. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> This got silly. This got long. This got this, silly? Yes. This got too long. Oh, man. I'm Excuse sweating, me? I am. What is in the taco? Mmm. <laughs> Repeat my order, you will. Mmm, <laughs> the runs I have. <laughs> From Taco Bell there. Mm. Yes, I would like there has to be something about. Hurry up, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> there has to be something about picking up a rock or lifting yeah. the ice wing. <laughs> like, I forget that one. Mm. May I have some water, please? I'll try. Do or not! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Brought to you by Kill. What is your favorite book and why? Oh. Mm, book or book series? On Twilight. Uh, I... You like Twilight? <laughs> yeah. No. Dragon... Dragonlance. Uh, Dragon I'm kind of with mm. I'm kind of with Joe on that. The it's good. Dragonlance. Uh, it's good they or, clarified. I, he almost had to leave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, but Kale, you know I like the Twilight novels. Yeah, Bella. yeah that's true. I'll, I'll go with series. You can say series okay. if you want. I would say probably with him. Uh, the Dragonlance Chronicles are one of my favorite series ever. Encyclopedia Britannica. <laughs> Oh, I thought you were saying Encyclopedia Brown. No, dude. Encyc <laughs> Encyclopedia Metallica. I like, uh, I like uh, Penthouse. That's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really a it's book. A <laughs> oh. oh. Although they have that He studies section. it like it is. Yeah. <laughs> um, the Harry Potter series ooh, is awesome. Harry Potter. I haven't read all of them. I really should, good. I, get that. I um, think the Ikea manuals kind of do it for me. I Not a book that is. Windows 95. <laughs> 
I actually <laughs> have one that is I consider the best that I love, and it's the one that I would take on a desert island with me. It's uh, Moby Dick. And the reason is because it's not like only a, a great story, <laughs> and it's got Dick in it, like in Moby. the title. <laughs> But and you're a Moby, Moby fan. It is, as a writer, <laughs> it's a white whale. All you have to do is look at the writing. It is beautiful language. The way he says things, the way it, the story is going. The only it's part I remember of it is a, "Meanwhile upon the Pequod." That's the only line I remember. Meanwhile, <laughs> it never says it. If I was on a desert, <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't want to. Meanwhile, I would want a book on how to build a boat. <laughs> how to build a boat. My yeah. name is Mel. <laughs> no, it's call me Ishmael. Call yeah. me, or just call, call me Mel. Ishmael. <laughs> call me Ishmael. Yeah, the beginning or of Mel. Or, or Mel. Mel. Uh, I like the, uh, uh, the hook from I like the Thrawn Never. trilogy in Star Wars. If I go up to my Star Wars, book wait the Thong Star. trilogy, the Thong, <laughs> Thong, by Cisco? Thong, Thong, Thong. What's the Thrawn trilogy. Oh, Thrawn. Okay. The Thong if we were going series, nice. I would have to go with the Dresden Files because they are awesome oh, and, I, and there's like 17 of them so far. Uh, I have to say, probably one of my favorites is Demon. Okay. Ah, Freedom. yes. Very, very. Demon. Cool. I have Freedom. a feeling I'm missing something that I really liked, but um, I'm just gonna have to. Tolkien, go with, go with Dune. Dune. Yeah. Tolkien's great. Tolkien's but, really good. But Dune is like I've never read Dune. I really oh should. Are gosh. you talking about the original good. trilogy, or are you just saying the original novel? The original trilogy, I would say. After that, it got pretty weird. Like the Herbert wrote the first six, and then his son wrote the seventh one, and, and that one's kind of weird. And they they were getting weirder and weirder yeah. as it went and along. If, yeah. And Kevin J. Anderson and and he have continued to write them. And there's you're, you're, a lot of them. The sibling of yours? Of Doom? No. <laughs> Song of the Seven no, Sons. He is he is mm. the author of the Saga of the Seven Sons, which yes. is another great series. Re re listening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, okay. Mel. Hmm. Just don't call me Mel. Because you'll get me mixed up with the hook on Mel. <laughs> All right. From Kale. Now Kale's dominating. <laughs> Uh oh! What? What are the gases found in a fart? <laughs> yep, ethane, yep. ethane, dilithium. I just heard. I read an article somewhere that said those are actually good for you. So thank you, Paul and Daryl. They were all yeah. Good. <laughs> no, I, I read the article how it helps cure uh, or uh, prevent cancer. Ah. Huh. By we're, farting? We, we are yeah. anti carcinogen. The, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> anti carcinogen brothers. Yeah. <laughs> That's all good, but we're notes. supposed to be. What are the gases from a fart? Noxious. <laughs> are are you looking scientifically? What chemical gases are in there? All right, hold on. Bacteria. No, you can't look it's it up. I don't know. know. I know methane, ethane. There's probably going to be some nitrogen because it's got to be partially from the atmosphere. So whatever's in the atmosphere, helium. Oh, you know them. Um, I nitrogen, do know them. Uh, I don't oxygen. We replied Jeopardy. Hydrogen, yep. Uh, Jeopardy. Oxygen. So yeah. One more. Methane. Helium. Did you, you already got nitrogen? Hydrogen. We got nitrogen. Methane. Sodium chloride. Methane? Chlorine. Methane. Did we already say methane? Well, yeah, it's that not. That's it. it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And ethane, right? There's oxygen, ethanol, hydrogen, ethanol. Nitrogen. That's a square, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let me fill up my car. <laughs> so, which which of those are are going to be our names? I'll be methane. Can you fart <laughs> and light on fire? Uh, <laughs> what? Which? Well, you need the light? oxygen to make the flame. Yeah. Um, Burn, I believe. So, but that's it part does. Of it. Triangle of fire. But then there's also right. <laughs> the oxygen. Fire. There are Horrible. two that that light on fire, and one methane. of them is hydrogen. hydrogen. The other one is the methane. Okay. Those are the ones that actually. What light color fire. is the flame? Ah, blue, purple. What, what indigo? Which part is blue? What the hell? I don't know. That's all I've seen on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's really because it's methane. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Part. There should be a specific name for that color. You know, this is going to go under your name under in random rambling. I know. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, well, you just happened? can't get through a freaking... Oh, well. Maybe you're low on space again. Yeah, it could be. Oh, well. <laughs> so there should be a special... Like, there's a shade of purple called, like, purple or something. Purple. <laughs> purple. 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 <laughs> I just made a purple fart. Can I have a floor? Oh, yeah, make it so that if you... If you're um, the cowardly lion, you can make it sound really funny. Like, I just made a purple fart. <laughs> Don't even say fart. Just, I just no, that's what Barney does. <laughs> I purple you. I purple. I purple. All right, so as three minutes is a little too long. Me. Oh, Didn't you realize this? Nah. We should have skipped. Oh, we should skip. <laughs> All right. No. no let's continue this. Yet. We're almost Where there. Where have you had like an old... How about Yoda farting? 
Uh, oh, Florida <laughs> did. All right, this is from Kale again. I did. <laughs> if you could go back to any time or age of the past, what would it be and why? Hey! Hey, I didn't know you were going to do that one. Whoa. Kip's question. I would go back in time Kip. and take Kip. the first one away. Like yeah. it never happened. Right. Let me answer that. Ooh, that's good. All right. That works. Our first skip of the night. All right, from Daryl. Uh-oh. Would you rather truth or dare? <laughs> that's easy, truth. Why would you ever dare? Why would you ever dare? Because you could lie as the truth. Yeah. No one will ever know. Ooh. All right. Okay, so we get there. to give you a truth then? Yeah. Are we playing right. truth Are we playing Wait, truth we're playing here? <laughs> because just kidding. <laughs> All right. Then I think the, the answer is that, that and I'll skip. <laughs> Ralph, Ralph, your truth. You're going to skip this one? Well, what, well, what is there to truth? As, as right, a kid, fine. truth or dare? As a kid, it was more fun to dare because truth is always, who yeah. do you like? Do you like? Um, well, I never understood the whole idea about how did truth or dare become something popular because it's right. one of those things where it's like you never choose dare. And you have a choice. You could just always say truth. Well, you can go into more depth about it because, you know, like if you dare, people can make you do something disgusting or humiliating. But then if you truth, you could possibly lie about it. Or, you know, why should you care so much about if someone knows something? Like, you know, they could ask you a question. If it's too personal, you're right. You can just skirt around. Young teenagers so. play truth or dare because they they think always that then they dare. It's going to be you're going to have to kiss somebody and they want to yeah, do right. that. That's, that's going to be like, eat this cockroach. Or something. You know? That's why with us, when we were playing, it was just boring. <laughs> it's like fear factor, right? You know, like, they can make you do something really gross with your mouth. Or, you know. No! It would be like, like that Thursday thing. I dare you to pick truth. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that was, that was very circular. Uh, that's kind of cool. Okay, let's, you want to skip it? Well, we're done. Much, we, we, yeah, we there, there's all right, all right, right, go ahead. Yeah. All right, that one didn't have legs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Last one. For me, read all the words on the Fiesta Pack Del Taco box. Go! That uh, run. Hand. Hand. Chicken. Grilled. Marinated grilled. Slow cooked. Marinated. Grilled. Signature sauces. Slow cooked. cheddar. Marinated. Slow cooked beans. Hands grilled. Signature sauce. Slow cheddar. Fresh cheddar. Grated. Fresh. Marinated. Order. Good. Fresh. Bold. Chicken. By the way, that wasn't what I just Hand screwed. All right, we're done. That was it? Yeah, that's it. Oh my gosh. I, I made that last one up. Oh. Well, I think that's it. Let me. Did you actually pull one, though? Yeah, I, I snuck one back in there. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. We're all done then. Yes. All right. Yeah. Oh, dude. An hour and 10 minutes. Check it wow. out. I'm, um, what's that really popular group right now? You're a Fiesta box. What? Daft Punk? Oh, yeah, Daft Punk. Want to get lucky too? What's the song? LMFAO. We're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. We're up all night to get lucky. You know, it's up all night. You might want to up your Halloween budget, Joey. He looks kind of like Hammerhead. It reminds me of like the. Triclops. It reminds me of the like Burger King meals, like where you get some stupid piece of headgear that you put on. This should be the new Burger King mascot box. instead of the king. Just right. like, <laughs> That's like the, the KFC should use Buckethead for, oh, no, oh, yeah. for their cat mascot. Oh, yeah, it's a, uh, what do you call it, uh, Minecraft guy. It's Lego guy. Ah, yes. All right. All right. Next. Uh, oh, good job, everybody. Thank you for... Uh, 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 thank you for Random Ramblings, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have decided on a topic for next week, which is going to be an offshoot of one of those we already did. Uh, Joe might be... Joe, you'll be choosing for next week. Wait. I will. Not Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, you'll be choosing for next week. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So, you'll have to come up with one. I mean, yeah. Okay. But for next week, or next time we meet, we will be doing... We have done a dreaming episode, but we got so into it this like time... shake your hand. I would so. like to go to... Evolution! <laughs> no. Lucid dream. Stop it! Ah! All right. An entire episode on evolution. And I not only want to do this just because I think it's interesting where we can talk about our dreams and things like that, I want to actually make it an experiment where we maybe try I want to evolution between now and Well, then. not necessarily. I, I, want to, I want to start to make this, because we've been talking about doing different things, maybe start to make this like an incoherent rambling experiment where we have evolution, so we decide what we're going to do when we talk about it, and then maybe come back to it later or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly what, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Well, okay. All right. All right. All right, Lucid Dreams. Okie dokie! Who will be our sponsor? Five guys. Okay, good one. Ambient? <laughs> Ambient? <laughs> <laughs> no, the Sandman. Yeah. No, none of the people in the Sandman. 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 Oh, the Sandman. Oh, the Sandman. The yeah. Sandman. You know, when the butterfly comes in, none of the people are like, ah, ah, get it off! <laughs> I know. Okay. Oh, uh, 
Anyway, uh, remember you can always re- we, we, we gotta end this because we're like swamp ass and like yes yeah. Just speaking of swamp ass, Ralph is like dripping on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gives his swamp hand. Yeah. yeah, just do not stick your hand up there. Uh, so <laughs> oh, whoa, bad shot, bad shot. Thank you for joining us. You can always reach us at show at iamrambling.com, please. Oops, line because no one ever does. We're not desperate. Wait, 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 wait. Don't tell people that. I mean, we get so we much hear, mail, we'll yeah, try to get to yours. Slow it down some. Oh, oh. We will try. <laughs> wait, wait, that'll work against us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, so, yeah. All right. So, reverse, uh, we'll reverse see you guys psychology. Next time. Uh, remember, we're incoherent, so, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on IamRambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Okay, Joe, we'll do, we'll do the silence thing. So silence you. It's all you. Hey, Daryl, can I have those pillows? You can't have that. You. <laughs> all right. No, 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 no. <laughs> See now you gotta start the countdown over. Can I have those Damn pillows over there? Hello. <laughs> when do I start this f-ing countdown? Well, no, you're doing fine. It's just we restart about twenty times. That's why you're in charge. So Did you get those pillows? Can I really have those pillows over there, <laughs> dude? Don't get this. Yeah, don't make me go all yeah, host on your ass. My arm. Oh, okay, that's okay. A bit fine. You ready? Do you want the other pillow? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Or have the big time. That's the only thing I can thing, man. That looks good. Wow. There we go. Uh, that looks really good. He's only called really the Wagyu. Jeez. <laughs>